differentiated neuroendocrine tumour of the testis is a tumour that is sometimes referred to as a carcinoid. In the pure form they are monodermal teratomas but around 25% may be associated with other teratoma elements. The median age at which well differentiated neuroendocrine tumours of the testis arise is between 45 and 50 with a range of ages from 10 to 83 years old. When making the diagnosis, although unlikely the possibility of a metastasis to the testis from elsewhere should be excluded. Presentation is usually with a testicular mass. The carcinoid syndrome may occur but is rare. Serotonin may be detected in the blood and alpha fetoprotein and beta-HCG will be normal. The majority of well-differentiated neuroendocrine tumours of the testis have a benign behaviour, but they are best classified as low-grade malignant. The behaviour is difficult to predict from the histology alone, but metastases tend to be associated with the larger tumours with increased mitotic activity, and also patients who have the carcinoid syndrome are at greater risk of metastases. The reported range of size of these tumours is anything from 0.3 cm to 8 cm with an average diameter of 2.5 cm. The tumours tend to be well circumscribed, solid and lobulated with a yellow, brown or grey cut surface. Histologically the tumour cells are arranged in islands producing an insular pattern the stroma is fibrous. The cytoplasm of the cells is pink and finely granular. The nuclei are round and they have a granular chromatin pattern producing a so-called salt and pepper appearance. This is a low power view of a well differentiated neuroendocrine tumour of the testis. The normal seminiferous tubules are at the bottom of the picture and top right is the neuroendocrine tumour producing these islands of cells lying in a fibrous stroma. At higher power the insular growth pattern can be appreciated and also the fairly abundant pink staining cytoplasm and the round nuclei. And at the highest magnification the granular nature of the pink cytoplasm can be appreciated and also the salt and pepper appearance of the nuclei. Finally this is the chromogranin stain that is strongly positive confirming this to be a neuroendocrine tumour.